Hey guys, another video on airgun gear. As I mentioned in a previous video, the weather is getting warmer, so I'm having a chance to get to shoot a little more than on, in those cold winter, winter days. So I got an interesting one for you. Uh, this one is actually uh, something I picked up uh, at IWA. So Huven was nice enough to give me one of their pumps. Now just for comparison, I have another pump, an older one that I used. I'm not sure which brand is that. Uh, there's nothing written on it except for Shing Song, which is of course um, a label from uh, an airgun. Um, so first of all, you can see that it's much smaller, much more foldable, uh, much more aesthetic. And uh, this one, of course, doesn't fold at all. Uh, well, there is maybe one good side of this one is the fact that it has two options in terms of uh, how fast it is to pump and how hard it is. Of course, the faster, the, the harder. Uh, this you can adjust with this screw, but otherwise this is a really big one. It's uh, steel and extremely heavy. Uh, and I will just put this aside. Now let's take a look at Huben. First of all, it's extremely light, extremely, extremely light. It has a thin hose, although the other one has it as well, but that is because I, I added uh, it on, otherwise it doesn't come with that hose. So it's very foldable. Here, <laughs> now it's fully extended. Uh, now everything about this pump shows quality. I, I mean, really, really everything from the how it uh, how the grip handles they rotate, so it's uh, easier, more ergonomic for you. Um, the fact that the uh, bleed valve actually locks the pump down when it's uh, open. So basically, now I have the bleed valve closed and you'll see that it's slightly jumped up because now it's unlocked and if I open the bleed valve there's actually a little hook here that goes forward and as soon as I fully close it actually locked to this brass part so that's a very cool feature for transportation and things like that. Um, <clears throat> also uh, where you can see quality is uh, how this is made it's actually you can actually see that everything is milled out. You can see through it. There's actually extremely big surface in order for it to properly cool. So very nicely built, very small gauge on top, which uh, actually is very accurate from my tests. Um, another interesting feature and also shows how Huben take care of, so really puts a good material in is the fact that these washers, these are actually spring washers, so it's always under tension, uh, are actually the same as you have in your Huben regulator. Uh, so again, everything really, really high quality. Um, I have only two, two not bad things, but two things I wish there were different. First of all, they ship with it with the Huben uh, thread on uh, fill probe. Now, of course, that's great if you only have Huben, but with this pump you can pump any air gun. So why should you be limited to just Huben? So I already ordered my uh, f Foster female uh, fitting to be threaded on this, and then I will be able to use my standard other quick fill Huben adapter or air uh, and I don't know air gun or whatever I will need wherever air gun I will pump. Um, so I, I know that a lot of you guys don't like pumps and I can understand that it uh, pumps are hard to use. You have to be strong, you have to put a lot of force, you get, you, can, you get tired and generally you usually shoot a little worse than, at least that's my case. Uh, but uh, I still think that uh, an air pump, uh, so for an air gun, is an extremely useful tool. For example, uh, when I uh, went to take that uh, 244 yard shot, uh, I was uh, literally on the top of one hill and shooting on the top of the other hill. And uh, it took me about two hours to set everything up and under no circumstances 
uh, was I willing to carry the uh, scuba tank on top of that hill. Even it was if we would, it would be carbon fiber, still too heavy to carry. But this, this you can put on your in your backpack just by your gun. Uh, I actually at that time I, I carried the old one, which is much heavier and bigger. And still, it's a better solution for this kind of uh, uh, situation than an air tank. And uh, I know that a lot of you hunters watch my channel. And if you go hunting, I'm assuming either you have a small, what you call, body, body bottle uh, carbon fiber option, if you have some massive air gun that really takes up a lot of air, or hand pump. Hand pump is always useful. So, uh, you probably noticed that uh, I'm already showing you uh, how it is to pump on the side. So, uh, as you can see, and I can tell you, it's not easy. This is not a magical air, uh, air gun pump that would make it pump easy because you have to put energy to gain energy from air gun. But the efficiency and um, it's it's like, you know, like, like in triggers. You can have trigger that it's heavy, it's mushy, it's anything, and you can have a light trigger. They're both triggers, right? But they, they behave much differently, right? So it's it's like this with this uh, hand pump, and I just, I love it, I love it. I actually, it's a lot of times, uh, just take this instead of scuba tank. Uh, of course, Huben, the, the air gun Huben, might not be, so the K1 might not be the correct choice to use with a hand pump since it is a semi-auto air gun. So it depends uh, in what uh, form you're, you're shooting. If you're just shooting for groups, then it's okay because then you're not going to take advantage of that s extremely fast semi-auto uh, uh, option. You're just going to take shots at a pace and the hand pump will do just fine. But if you're just going outside to have fun and blinking and shoot as fast as you can, then it's better to have a scuba tank. So uh, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Rate, uh, subscribe, comment, and see you next time. That's about 300. Not tired at all. <laughs> right. <laughs>